Hello, uh, we are going to continue working with our acrylic paint and today we are learning a, a brand new skill. This is a new painting technique compared to watercolor. Um, and I would say that it is this painting technique that we're gonna start learning today and kind of continue working with over the next couple of days is the key to successfully learning how to paint with acrylic paint. Um, and what this does for you is it allows you to blend paint inside your painting rather than relying strictly on um, paint colors mixed on your palette. So what we're going to be doing is making um, a variation of a color wheel. It basically ends up being a color triangle that looks like this. So our goal is to have the colors blend along uh, the edge or the side, gradually going from the primary color at the point to, um, so you can see here, it starts at yellow, uh, goes to yellow, orange, hits orange, goes to red, orange, and is red at the bottom. So it's a gradual fade or almost like a tie-dye effect um, on our sheet of paper. Uh, again, I made sure that my name is on this sheet and I am going to start painting um, using just my primary colors. I, uh, each leg will like represent like a, a third of the color wheel. So I'm just gonna paint down one side. I need the paint to stay wet while I'm working. Um, and I'm going to go about halfway and then I'm gonna switch and I'm going to clean my paintbrush out. And I do have to work fairly fast. This is, um, like I said, it's a new technique for us switching from watercolor. And I'm going to now switch to red and um, clean my paintbrush out again because I know red is more powerful than yellow. And I need these guys to blend with each other. So you can see right away my red will very quickly take over my yellow. So that's a sign I need to clean the red out of my paintbrush. And I'm going to kind of work from my yellow into my red to blend those colors. My goal is to have it be a smooth blend without any stops or lines. No stops, no lines, no stripes, and no mixing out in my palette. So I'm cleaning my paintbrush again, as you can see. Key with this is to always make sure you're squeezing your paintbrush dry. And now I'm gonna come back here and work from my yellow again, just to sort of soften some of those stripes that I created. Keeping my paper towel handy. And there we go, ta-da! A gradual fade from yellow to red. I'm gonna do that on each side of my color triangle um, with one color at a time. So now I'm going to uh, switch and I'll need to paint um, from yellow to through green and blue. And uh, what I can do is I'm gonna start with the blue. Again, I'm gonna pull the blue up just part of the way up my triangle. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush out Squeeze it dry. I'm gonna refresh a little bit of this yellow at the top just to make sure that it's wet. And I'm gonna pull it down into the blue and you'll see that that blue quickly takes over my yellow. So when it starts to be too stripey and too hard of a stop, I'm going to again clean my paintbrush out. I'm gonna squeeze the water out of it and now I'm gonna come back from this yellow side and pull a little bit more of this yellow down into my paint. Again, working to soften until this is a gradual shift from my yellow through the range of greens and into the blue.